I'm nervous as fuck, but it's cool. Um, <laughs> um, I guess you can say I'm difficult. Or so I've been told, but that just sounds like it's coming from someone who doesn't know how to handle me. My apologies if you find me a bit too challenging. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my past PTSD from my past relationships causes me to think that you can't be good to me. You say I'm being a detective, but I just think I'm being protective. Excuse me if my tone of voice is a bit aggressive. I'm just reiterating the fact that I was never the one to mess with. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I let it happen again. I let past experiences with shitty ass men dictate the way I interact with you. And I really wanna trust, but it's obvious I still have some issues I need to get through. I never said that loving me was going to be easy. But if you're going to, do not excuse my assertiveness for inability to be submissive. I just know what I want, so I'm making sure you understand the mission. Listen. <laughs> I know that I am no walk in the park. I am a lot to handle, and sometimes I'm overly sensitive, so some days you may feel like I'm not even fucking with you, but on those days, I need you to make sure that you don't take it personal. I'm not saying I won't work with you, I'm saying, I'm saying that sometimes I need a little more reassurance than normal. I have crippling anxiety that I don't necessarily speak about, so I hope it doesn't bother you when I ask you to bear with me. I hope I'm not asking you for too much when I ask if you still like me, because last night while we were asleep, you let go of me a little bit too quickly. <laughs> Paranoid. I know. I never said it was easy to love me, but my love is rewarding, so if you're going to, do not mistake my need to be loved out loud for insecurities. Trust me, I know that I have wife written all over me. My table is always full. So if you're going. <laughs> do not excuse, do not mistake it for insecurities. I know that I have wife written all over me. My table is always full. So if you're going to sit down and enjoy this meal with me, I need to ensure that you're willing to learn how to love me properly. And I've never been one that was afraid to speak, so on days where I'm a bit too quiet, or it seems like I'm a bit out of it, hold me because anxiety doesn't always tell me why she's visiting. <laughs> Hold me because anxiety doesn't always tell me why she's visiting. And tell me every time that you think I'm beautiful because compliments from you feel more like confirmation that it's going to be a good day. I want you to love me enough to teach me how to love you. And I'm not saying teach me the basics. I'm saying teach me the love that was uniquely made for you. I was uniquely made for you. Tell me you love me. Tell me you miss me at 2 p.m. when you're busy. You know, in the middle of your day, when you have a whole bunch of thoughts at the forefront of your brain, remind me that I'm still important enough to think about in the middle of chaos. If I am your girl, then I need to feel like I am more than just a friend. No, I am not being needy. No, I am not being needy. I need you to be here with me. I never said it was easy to love me. I know we're grown, but I still like being babied. And I still want to feel like you're crushing on me even after you've had me. I never said it was easy to love me. But if you're still going to, then I need to know that you're willing to love me properly. Thank you. Mm -hmm.